Oh, it seemed to slow. Hi! Oh, tech Robert here again. My name's Rolf. Um, I would, uh, in this video I'm just going to go through what would one need in terms of basic tools and accessories if one's going to um, upgrade or build a PC. Um, so I'm actually in the process of doing that for the channel right now. So anyway, let's start and have a look at some of the stuff. So anyway, the first item that I have on the list is this anti-static strap. And basically what you do is you take it and you put it on one of your or in front of your hands so that the metal strip actually touches your skin. And then the other end this should be set into something that's grounded and in Europe we have like outlets that look like this and we have very conveniently we have a grounding strip on the outlet so then you can just connect it to the grounding strip and then you're pretty much guaranteed to have, the, have to know that your body is grounded and that prevents the voltage between the part you're touching and, and um, your body You don't really need to have the strap on when you're just opening the case. But when you just get into the electronics port, then it's kind of good. Um, then it would be recommended to have some kind of a small toolkit with bits. I have a Bosch set here. Pretty generic. I mean, you can have any brand. It doesn't really matter. Um, then you can have one of these. Or similar. An electrical driver. I recommend that you make sure that it has a light in it because you know PC corners can be a bit dark. Now, uh, if you're uh, doing a PC for the first time, you're know, not sure how much torque, how much things can be tightened or uh, in that way, um, then I recommend that you avoid using these because you can actually very easily over tighten things. So. In that case, I think that one should, you know, move to a more generic screwdriver. And also, I have a screwdriver here where you can um, change its length, you know, depending on how much access one needs to different areas. And, uh, also, it's good to have long nose pliers to reach at things sometimes. And then um, side cutters are good to have. And um, then we have these, which are zip ties or tie ties, or many different, even in English, many different names around the, around the world. But I mean, basically, there you can put them through there tie cables up and stuff. Uh, it's, it's, um, you'll have to see uh, based on what you're doing if, uh, if you'll need these or not. In, in some instances you can do a whole PC build or upgrade without actually needing these. And that's what you actually use the side cutters for mostly is that you cut off the axis if they're too long. And you can get these in different colors and different lengths. So I suggest you select whatever matches your, your build. And then we have a few other things. Uh, thermal paste. Um, basically when you buy a processor which has a cooler with it, it will probably already have thermal paste on it, but it's thermal paste from the factory. don't know how long the box has been standing in the shelf. So I, I suggest you take some alcohol and clean off the paste that's on it and um, apply something which is known to be good quality. And which is fresh. And um, also, well, I actually found this this here um, in the store when I was browsing around. It's actually a set of computer <laughs> screws <laughs> of various kinds. So I think the, the you know, if one, uh, you can find them locally, I think this might be a good idea. Because some, sometimes one gets stuck with the fact that, okay, you now one hasn't got one of these um, motherboard razors or you know, uh, uh, 
you want to put a hard drive in, and then none of the hard drives come with screws anymore, or most of them don't. So I think that's actually quite useful. So anyway, I wasn't going to make this video into a very long one, but I just thought it was good to um, show the stuff that one needs. Maybe it's not so obvious for people that usually don't work on now. Um, uh, PC upgrades. Anyway, if you want to see these tools in action, then you can pick up on the next videos. I'm going to actually be doing the channel PC um, um, build. It's up um, on its way. And um, yeah, and you can see how the tools are used and applied. Anyway, if you thought this video was useful, then um, you know, subscribe and press the bell button so that you get notified of new videos coming down and um, yeah ah, well, I'll see you guys in the next one